Hello, friends. Today we'll be talking about components, aka symbols. That's what they were called earlier, but now we call them components. We'll talk about how to create them as it is really easy and uh, we'll talk about how to override them as well. So let's get started. First of all, understand what components are. Components are objects much like the text or the boxes that you can reuse across your artboards in an XD document. And you can change them all simultaneously by only modifying one instance of them. So that's one of the main benefits of a component. In this file, I have these many components that I imported when I imported the header and the footer from a UI kit. So I don't really need them anymore. So let me select them all and right click and delete them. Just know that components sit under document assets. So if you want to look for them, just go to document assets and you will find all your components sitting there. All right, now I'd like to make my menu bar a component and because it is grouped with the text in it, all of it will become one component. And I do that by selecting the menu bar and clicking the plus sign next to components. And then I click on it to rename it to header. Now you see this solid green diamond at the corner. It means that this is the main component or the mother component. Any changes we make here will reflect on any of the copies we make using the main component. So let's hold option on a Mac or alt on a PC and make a copy of the main component. You'll find that the copied version does not have the solid green diamond like in the main component, which signifies that this is not the main component. Let me make a few more copies of this using Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac. Now with this first copy, I'm going to change the demo text to this is a demo. And you'll find that it does not affect any of the components below it. Now let me select the second copy and change the color of the rectangle to black. You'll find that the moment I change the color to black, it takes away all the text as well. As I mentioned earlier, the entire rectangle along with the text is one component because we created it like that. If we had ungrouped the text from the rectangle, this wouldn't have happened. Now look at what happens when I change the color of the rectangle of the main component. So let's change it to gray. You'll find that all the baby components took the effect of this change quite instantly, except the one we had manually changed the color of. That's an outcast now. So let's undo this using Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC. Let's change some text from the main component and see if it affects the rest of the babies or not. So I'm going to change the word future to test. And there you go, it has taken effect on every other copy except the one that has turned black. Let me change the heading of this component as well to highlights and uh, there is no change whatsoever on any other component by doing so. Let's also round the corners of the other one using the round widget and this also does not change anything anywhere. What I mean here is, even after copying from the main component, should you want to change anything depending on your client's requirement, you are always free to do so. Just keep in mind that it's a baby component, so to speak, and not the main one. So the component that has a solid green diamond at the corner is what you need to be careful about. There could be situations where you would want to undo the changes made to your copied component. So it can easily be done by right clicking on the component and then selecting the reset to main state option and uh, you'll find it reverting to its earlier state. If for some reason you haven't renamed a particular component as in the real life situation, you would have hundreds of artboards and as many components as well so to locate a particular component in the asset panel right click on the component and select reveal component in assets and your component will be highlighted in the assets panel if you want editing to happen to the main component for some reason and you're not sure which one is the main component 
as perhaps you must have copied it a zillion times. Just right click on the component and select edit main component and the main component will be highlighted for you to edit. Alright guys, that's all about master components and overrides in Adobe XD. If you have any questions or need clarifications of any sort, feel free to drop in a message in the comments and I shall respond within 24 hours. If you have enjoyed this video, don't be shy to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.